behind shelby.com if this is your first time seeing me i post new videos every thursday typically we talk about faith self-love natural hair and sometimes everything in between make sure you hit subscribe so you can be notified every time i post a new video please don't forget to hit the like button especially if you enjoy what we talked about today and as always make sure you share this with your friends and family because i'm sure they would love to hear more about this video Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31. <laughs> What's the likelihood of that? Um, so I actually wanted to talk about this because it's something that like is one, very a very popular verse, especially for women. Um, two, I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to the Proverb 31. And three, I read a very poignant point um, when I was reading the Tony Evans book, kingdom women that made me think that this was something that I definitely wanted to talk about and shed light on because I feel like as women when we hear about this verse in the Bible they don't necessarily talk about it in the in the way and the perspective in which he did so I definitely wanted to make sure I shared um, more about the perspective that I learned from him and how it made me look at the Proverbs 31 verse so I'm definitely going to be paraphrasing one of the main points that he made that made me think, you know, wow, I never thought about it this way. But one of the main points that um, that was made during the chapter is called A Woman of Value. And it's the first chapter actually in the Kingdom Woman book. And I'm sorry if I'm looking down, but I'm referencing it. Um, but it's called A Woman of Value. And one of the points that he made was, when you read the proverb 31 verses 10 to 31 um, a lot of times people don't realize that those verses are condensing a woman's whole life which i didn't even think about that like that that is a very small <laughs> excerpt of someone's entire life so you know a lot of us we're, try we're striving and we're trying so hard and we're thinking that it's not attainable for us to be a proverb 31 because you know how can we do all all the things that she's doing and, you know in, in everyday life yeah in everyday life how can we do all those things in everyday life when this woman seems to have it all together from day one well that's not really the case this is like her entire life in one very small part of a huge book so it just made me realize like being a Proverbs 31 woman is attainable it is something that we can all accomplish it's not something that you're going to accomplish in one day but over your over your lifetime are these characteristics that you can you know try to live by and try to you know build your life around yes most definitely especially if you start to look at it as being something that you do throughout your life instead of something that you do like every day all of a sudden you're this perfect woman <laughs> you know but anyways I wanted to read this one point from the book because the, the major point or my favorite point in that entire verse was she fears God and so I did want to read this one um, expert excerpt from the book <laughs> I don't want you to feel that what she attained is far out of reach from what God is able to do through you because it's not what it comes down to is that her fear and reverence for God caused her to do the best she could with what she had to promote God's kingdom and goodness in her own life and the lives of those around her and I'll definitely make sure I leave that quote below. But when it says she fears the Lord, it's not it, it's not meant in a way of like she's scared of the Lord, but it's just that she has a deep respect for God. And so she she lives her life a certain way like trying to honor him because of that deep respect and or reverence, same word, um, that she has for him. Um so another point um, that was made that I that I think we all try to live by is that the Proverb 31 woman was hardworking. She was hardworking, but one of the things that you have to note, it not only says that she was hardworking, but she also had people working for her. She didn't do all the work on her own, so she had some help. And I think sometimes 
as women, we think we have to do everything on our own in order for, you know, us to be the best wives or the best mothers or the best people that we can be. We think we have to do it all, but we don't. Like, it's okay to have help. You're, that doesn't make you any less hardworking or, you know, any, <laughs> any less because you have help. Um, the other, the other um, thing that she was was resourceful and I think that kind of goes with what I was saying like you use your resources to the fullest of your abilities if you if you have someone who's willing to help you whether it be your significant other mother mother-in-law whatever the case may be you know being resourceful allowing people to help you so that you can you know make the most of your abilities um it's just like in a business or in any at any company um there is a reason why a ceo or a owner has employees because he can't do everything himself so he hires people who have the traits and the talents and the abilities that he doesn't have and he uses them he's resourceful in using them to make the most out of his business and so it's the same thing for us in life and i'm not saying you should use people in a, <laughs> in a negative way but i'm saying allow people to help you so that you can you know make the most out of all the things that you want to do in life um it's okay to have help it's okay to to hire out sometimes <laughs> she was loving which is obviously you know something we all strive to be but she was loving she was loving to her neighbors she was loving to her children to her husband you know she loved everyone and i think that's something i've already talked about on the channel before just the importance of showing giving and you know spewing <laughs> and exuding just love she was kind um the kind of kindness that we kind of all strive to be you know that ideal kindness of just it didn't matter who the person was she was kind just because that's who she is she was wise now when i think of wisdom i don't i can't remember what exact verse i've read this from um but i always think you know <laughs> wisdom comes from god so i always pray for wisdom from god so obviously that's what I take from it when it says she's wise that, you know, she is wise enough to understand that wisdom comes from God and she has prayed and he has blessed her with wisdom. She believes in her ability to create value. Now, she was, I think it was like a clothes maker or, yeah, some, some type of clothing or jewelry or something of that sort. I can't remember exactly right now. Um, but she believed that the things that she created, the things that she made were her own hands they were valuable and that's no different from us like when you you know go to work or if you're working in your business or if your work is your children or your house you should believe that those things that you work on and work towards they create value that they're um something that could be profitable if it's a business <laughs> or work um or if it's something as far as like your children or your house that it it looks good it looks it tastes good whatever i mean if you're a cook <laughs> um she doesn't waste time which i think is important and it actually ties into one of the other chapters of just the importance of making the most of every day and not dwelling on the past she 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 doesn't waste time she's resourceful with her time she doesn't spend her time worrying about things because she know she knows that god has her she lives for today and she entrusts the future to tomorrow Again, it's just kind of a, another reiterance of the the importance of really enjoying today and knowing that God is going to take care of your future and not worrying, not, not being anxious, not being weary, just knowing that God got it. She provides for her family and obviously she provides for her family through the, the I believe it's clothing, my brain. I think it's clothing that she was making. She provides for her family through the clothing that she was making. And then <laughs> this is one of the ones that um, kind of got me and made me laugh a little bit. She's beautiful, but she's not vain. Like she, she's a beautiful woman, but she's not obsessed with beauty. It's not her. It doesn't drive her or distract her. It's just simply she just is a beautiful woman. And, and that's it kind of um, verse. And it also said, I also took away from that verse, is that she doesn't try to leverage or use her beauty to get ahead or to get over on on people and that kind of stuff. So it's, it's like one of those 
I guess, pure beauties. <laughs> it's the best way I could describe it, if that means anything to anyone besides me. And um, the last one, which is still a very important one, because they did talk a little bit about her husband in the verse, um, is that she had a God-fearing husband who loves her and he values her strength, which kind of ties in with some of the videos I've talked about in the past about marriage and <laughs> just the importance of um, it being a partnership. So it just reiterated some of the things that we've already read in the Bible and talked about here on the channel is that, you know, your husband needs to be God-fearing too. You know, you can't submit to a man who isn't God-fearing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave your comments below. What were your thoughts on the Proverbs 31 woman? What were your major takeaways? What is it that you're carrying with you and you're striving to be when you think about the Proverbs 31 woman? What does it mean to you? I'd love to hear from you, so make sure you leave a comment below. As always, make sure you guys like, subscribe if you have not already, and share this video with your friends and family. I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. In the meantime, in between time, make sure you guys be blessed and stay safe. Bye!